Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, videocopilot.net. And welcome to another Shortcuts episode. I don't have the graphic today, but just take my word for it. It's not going to be that long. Um, in fact, uh, let's get on with it. Uh, I'll keep this thing short and sweet. That way I can get some lunch, and uh, I think I'm going to have some sweet and sour pork. So that kind of works out. So I have my Riverside shot. First thing we need to do is create a ground plane. By the way, the idea of this is to cast shadows onto your live action scene. So that's what we're going to be doing. Go back into our image, create a new white solid, and uh, we'll make it 600 by 600. I'll call this uh, background and choose OK. And we'll hit F4. We'll make it a 3D layer. And we want to rotate it flat. So hold down Shift so it rotates into a flat plane. Then move it down. Now, you don't want to adjust it so that it matches your picture. Instead, you want to create a camera. And uh, we'll use the 24 and choose OK. And then you want to adjust the camera orbit and track and all that. So just kind of move this around until it sort of lines up. And also, it's helpful to uh, take the layer, choose Effect, Generate Grid. And that makes it a little easier sometimes to kind of see. So that's pretty good. I'll go and scale it up and move it down. That way we have an area for our shadow to cast. So I'm going to shut the grid off and let's create our text. So we'll just do uh, video copilot and uh, we'll make it a 3D layer. And uh, we'll go to like a side view, like the left view, and let's make sure it's sitting right on top of our floor plane. So we'll move it down until it lines up. Come back to the active camera. Now, here's what we need to do. First, let's create a new light. We'll make it uh, sort of a yellow color to match our scene. And uh, we'll do like 75 intensity cast shadows. Okay. So. Now what we need to do is set our video copilot text to cast shadow. So hit AA, brings up our material options. You can also just uh, go down, turn cast shadows on. For our text, we're also going to turn accept lights off. And that way we can colorize it ourselves, and it won't be affected by the light. But you can do it either way. I just uh, I prefer it this way for this example. And for our floor, right now it's just uh, horrible looking. So what we can do is turn accept lights off and then turn the transfer mode to multiply and that way we don't see it and it's casting our nice shadow so let's make our shadow look good cuz uh, I mean that looks alright but I'm gonna get laughed off of the stage here so we'll go and turn up the shadow diffusion by the way AA brings up 3D options and uh, we'll increase it a bit and you can see it sort of adding a soft look. Now let's bring our text closer to the camera and uh, we'll rotate it a little bit and I'll just move it over. So let's go to the top view and our light is right in line and if I move it you can see our shadow is you know being cast and so I want to move it just in front so we can see it pretty good. So I'll go back to the active camera and so there's our, our, our layer and you know you can move around the light in this view as well. Now I like to move our text just off the floor plane. And that looks good. Scale it up. And I'll add a ramp. Let's see, generate ramp. We'll do yellow, maybe this color, and uh, change it to radial. Actually, uh, let's switch these colors. Okay, so it's looking pretty good, and our shadow's dynamic. We can move our text layer up in the air, and that way it looks like it's floating. Um, you know, we can move uh, multiple copies around, like duplicate it, control D, and we can maybe put one, you know, up against the wall over here. And maybe we take our light and just move it over to the right so it casts the shadows for you know all the objects here. 
And obviously this light doesn't match our scene perfectly, but you know, the idea is just to kind of give it the feel that it's in the world, you know, and just that sort of added detail will uh, will make it look cool. And uh, let's move this. It is backwards, um, but maybe for the people coming down this street, that way they know what street this is. So this is Video Copilot Avenue, and uh, this could be, um, I don't know, what's a cool name, like a really cool street name, Gunnerson. So, I mean, that's a... That's a cool name. So I mean, I think in the future, street signs will be, you know, projected onto the ground, and there'll be an awesome shadow on it. This way, you really know where you're going, and uh, you know it'll be easier to explain directions to people. You're gonna say, "All right, you're gonna see this text layer in the street," and eh, anyway, that's a horrible joke. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this shortcuts episode. I'm off to the China Hut. <laughs>